Hey guys, uh, welcome to the first installment of Cutting with Adam Cha Cha for 2024. Uh, we're here today at the iconic Piermont Wharf. It's actually on Elizabeth Bay. Uh, Piermont is located about two kilometers from the CBD and is actually Australia's most densely populated suburb. So I thought instead of doing something like we normally do today, we're gonna to be doing a really cool haircut here, right on the wharf. So I'm gonna go and grab our model for today, Bronte. We're gonna come back down. I'm gonna show you something I've never shown you before. Today we're going to be doing some dry cutting on curly hair. Uh, this is Bronte. The reason why I like working uh, with a dry cutting method on hair like this is because, as Bronte will attest, um, the best way for hair to dry is naturally. So sometimes when we come in the salon, I have, well, traditionally we can cut this dry, of um, wet, excuse me, of course you can. Um, but what I can never do is make it dry the way it dries naturally, how Bronte would doing it at home. So I have in certain circumstances chosen to cut hair in this state, which is what I'm gonna to demonstrate today. So I'm happy with that baseline. Just really spend some time, you know, if there's these little bits that you reach from underneath and they come down. Just wanna make sure that we get those off. We don't wanna have any long pieces hanging out from underneath. Beautiful hair, very lucky. Okay, so now we're going to just concentrate on this area here. And I'm going to try and actually just lift individual curls out of the way. And we're going to cut that and then we'll join the bottom um, or cut the hair through the middle after we've decided how much we want to take off the top.
creating. You can see I'm creating these beautiful shapes. because it is really hot, so that breeze is nice. Kelkin Dream. It's an amazing product. And we apply this like any styling product, a little bit at a time. So I like to glaze it all on my hands and I keep the majority of it on my palms and then I'm just using my fingertips to very gently rehydrate, I guess you could say, these curls potentially where I've disturbed them. You can define using individual pieces of hair if you like. Great thing about being in the sun, being the largest uh, heat source we know of, is that it's drying really well for me as I apply it, a little bits at a time. One of the things I love about Kelk and Dream, it actually gives you a lot of the benefits of using a traditional gel, but it actually doesn't dry hard. And one of the things that we love about curly hair is the movement. You can see why. I was cautious about how much length I chose. Now that we're putting the product in and it's rehydrating. I'll lift a little bit of the height in. Just be around face Jimmy, we're done. Thanks guys.